What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 6 primarily in this video here today. Now, the reason we're talking about Scream 6 is because we're going to be going over some of those fake spoilers that many of you weren't in the know about that were circulating in the summer of 2022. These were the things that were never made public. These were the things that a few of us, myself included, were trying to protect. I put out a tweet about some of these things. Some of you have commented saying that you think this should have been what we ultimately got, but I'll see what the rest of you think if you never saw that tweet, because I'm gonna share these same fake spoilers in this video. Two of them were true out of the several that were out there. And I guess, I guess one other, depending on how you look at it, but diving into these fake spoilers and what allegedly would have been the story for Scream 6, which again, I don't know how true this might have been at one point or another. I tend to now lean on this was complete BS outside of just somebody getting lucky with what they were predicting. And from what you guys have again stated, a lot of you think they came up with a better story. These were the fake spoilers circulating in the summer of 2022. Now, the first one, which ended up being true, was that Bailey and Ethan are Ghostface. As we know, Bailey and Ethan ended up being Ghostface, father and son duo. Also, they had their third partner in crime, Quinn Bailey, the siblings to Richie, father to Richie Kirsch, you know, the whole shebang there. Now, here's the other thing that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Bailey is Rebecca's father, Rebecca from Scream 4, Sydney's publicist. So, I think that was her publicist, but yeah, so Bailey was rumored to be Rebecca's father. I know a lot of people were thinking that that's who he's talking about when he said in an interview with Screen Rant or whoever the outlet was that his connection to the Ghostface Sprees in Six is strong family ties. A lot of people were under the impression that this was Rebecca's father. That indeed was one of the fake spoilers circulating. Then the third one here that really was interesting was that Bailey and Christina met in one of her AA groups and Bailey was actually the one who was being planned as a killer as early as Scream 5 courtesy of the phone conversation you have Tara have with Ghostface at the start of 5 where he's like I'm a friend of hers from group the alleged backstory that ended up being not true was that Bailey and Christina met in AA some type of group had an affair, had some sort of connection that they bonded bonded over over time. And after meeting at this group, after getting close, it became romantic in a way. They had an affair, had sex. She got pregnant and Christina had an abortion, which upset him. Now, this is a man who had previously a decade ago lost his daughter, Rebecca, in a ghost face spree. Now he had a chance to basically recreate a family and Christina robbed him of that. Ethan, another spoiler that was again, well, yeah, this is the one that was kind of true. Ethan was just an incel accomplice, which he kind of was. There was just a lot more to it. But here's the thing. Bailey, which is another one of the fake spoilers, wanted to take revenge on Christina by targeting her children because this is his form of revenge and reasoning for becoming Ghostface because he's going to take from Christina what she took from him which is the opportunity to be a father again. Children, you wanna take my child away? I'm gonna take your girls away. Now, the thing that was being spread as to why this likely could be changed, again, I think this was BS. Their reasoning was that the whole thing with Roy V. Wade and how that could cause them to not wanna do it due to getting backlash. I'd argue though, let's say this was the route that they went down. Let's entertain this for a second. I think a lot of people would have ate this up. A lot of people would have been okay with it. Yes, you would have had some people who were upset, but a lot of people would have preferred this over what you gave them in Scream 6. Ultimately, granted, I am very much so someone who likes to look beyond just the similarities to Scream 2. There's a lot of stuff about the motive that's different from Scream 2. There's a lot of the approach that's different. A lot of the execution, of course, overall is very different than Scream 2. There's a lot of different material that they are working with that Mrs. Loomis and Mickey Altieri were not working with in Scream 2 that you have present in Scream 6. I think people would have ate this up though. A killer who basically is actively trying to seek out and destroy a woman in her kid's life because he's unhappy that she decided to abort his child. I think that would have spoken to a lot of people. It would have resonated with a lot of people. Yes, it would have been upsetting, but once again, what would it have been? What would it have been 
for Scream, it would have been another opportunity for Scream to commentate on current events. And that would have been a beautiful way to commentate on it if you ask me. But again, this was fake. Now, another one of the spoilers that I'm very glad was fake was that Kirby Reed would have survived the opening sequence only to make her way to New York and have herself killed when she tries to reach out to Gail Weathers. Gail would leave Kirby alone in her apartment. Ghostface would kill her, leaving a message to Gail or something like that. But that's how Kirby would have died. Kirby dies reaching out to Gail. Gail leaves her alone. Ghostface is at Gail's apartment. I guess he must have been waiting for Gail. But instead, he got Kirby and took out Kirby. Then, of course, we all know this one. Sydney would have got a phone call at the end of the movie and it would have set up a sequel to the events of Scream 6, which thankfully that did not happen given the current events of where we stand with the upcoming seventh film. Uh, those are the spoilers. Those are the spoilers that did not happen for Scream 6 outside of the fact that Bailey and Ethan were indeed the killers, but you didn't get anything regarding an abortion. You didn't get anything regarding a familial connection between Christina and Bailey. But I do like that that could have been something worth exploring. You could still explore that in a future Scream movie. You could still explore it. And I wouldn't be opposed to seeing it down the road, whether it be in the inevitable seventh film. I still think we could get uh, an eighth, ninth, whatever you want to do as far as this series goes on. You guys can let me know what you think about these fake spoilers down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on them? What do you think about that Roy V. Wade approach? What do you think about Christina and bailey having an affair what do you think about bailey being rebecca's father there's a lot of material that could have been given to us there with a character like bailey who already lost someone to a ghost face spree now donning the mask themselves to get back at someone who they feel has wronged them by taking away their opportunity to be a father again i would imagine that their plan would have been to frame christina as the person who snapped because of her her daughter ruining what she had and not being appreciative you know stuff like that there was this alleged line where he bailey that being was like she'll have a a child with a serial killer in reference to billy loomis but she wants to abort my child i don't think so so like that's some crazy type of dialogue we could have gotten but again that was all fake let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video